To see maple trees in action, you need to visit Grammar Grove Wildlife Area near Marshalltown. Grammar Grove was a property that we acquired a few years back, um, and it is a uh, upper timber area along with bottomland. It's just, and great wildlife all, you know, all year round, so it's a beautiful place to visit. On this visit, a rare Sawet owl, usually residing in more arctic climates. Hiking about a quarter of a mile in on ice-covered snow, some 150 trees have been tapped to capture sap when late winter weather makes it flow. Nope. So far the sap is barely a trickle. Last year they got over 2,200 gallons of sap. We're not too terribly behind other than the fact that we've got still a, a good amount of snow on the ground, which is different, and we're not sure how that will necessarily affect the syrup levels. Uh, we used to come up every morning um, and check it to see if it produced any sap the day before. Uh, we keep track of the weather, highs and lows every day. On this day, a group of seniors and residents of the Iowa Veterans Home came to learn about how sap turns to syrup. This is a jar from our first year, and you'll see that there's crystals formed on the bottom of it because we overcooked it. They even got to experience some sweet syrup on ice cream and see how raw sap is made into syrup. Sap from your tree, it has sugar in it. You cook off all the water, so all of what's left is mostly the sugar. Um, and then that's how you have your maple syrup. Last year's effort produced 3,500 gallons of syrup. From Marshall County, Roger Riley, Channel 13 News.